Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. How have you ladies been doing this summer? I hope you guys have been well, healthy, and enjoying summer to the fullest. I know I am. And you know, with summertime, it's just been very fun, busy, and hectic with work, family, all that stuff to balance out. But I, haven't, I have not had a chance to come on and chat with you ladies because I love chatting with you guys all the time. And now since it's getting closer to the school um, starting, my son um, just enrolled in a summer camp for the next three weeks since my husband's schedule has changed. And then my schedule, um, we needed to have him in somewhere fun and productive. So my son just started summer camp and he was truly excited about it because he's the only child. Um, and he gets to go play with a lot of friends that he knows and go to school with. So with that said, I am able to film videos on my days off and chat with you ladies and let you guys know what I'm loving, what I'm not loving so far. So I'm glad to be back on and what we're going to talk about today is one of my new favorite foundations this summer. I have been using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is their 12 hour full coverage foundation with SPF 15 and I know if you're a long time subscriber and you've been watching me since um, July since I started posting videos again, um, I did haul two other foundations. Not to say I don't love them, I like them, but this one I'm really loving. So with that said, um, stay tuned. I'm going to share with you guys why I love it and a little bit more information and a review on this foundation. So in a little bit, stay tuned and we'll talk about Tarte. Okay, so welcome back. If you're still watching, you're kind of curious and you want to know my thoughts about the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. First and foremost, this is not a sponsored review. I picked this up on my own and I'm just sharing with you guys something that I'm really loving. Um, I know you guys, if you've been subscribed to me for a while and you've seen my past videos, I did haul two other foundations. I like them, but this one I really love, so I really want to share this one with you. So, first things first, um, Tarte Cosmetics, you can purchase Tarte Cosmetics at TarteCosmetics.com, Sephora.com, Ulta.com, and it's also available if you live close to those, Sephora and Ulta, you can buy those in store. And so that's where I picked mine up is from Sephora. Now, Tarte, as far as I know, is a natural um, cosmetic brand or cosmeceutical. And the thing that takes their brand and kind of elevate them a little bit is that they formulate their products with very, with skincare, I'll put it like that, skin ingredients that are healthy for your skin. So not only that you're getting benefits from the foundation, which is a visual coverage of what foundation does for the skin, but you also get some healthy ingredients to help improve your skin too. So that's one thing, since I'm into the healthy skin thing, is what intrigued me about Tarte Cosmetics. So, um, one thing um, Tarte Cosmetics do formulate their products with when it comes to this product, and you know what, just so I don't mess up or don't give you guys any wrong information, I have my handy dandy computer and we are on Tarte Cosmetics right now, so let's talk about it. So I'm gonna be looking at it and let's see. Basically, with the foundation, um, they say their products are you know, infused with skin invigorating ingredients. So with this foundation, um, it has the Amazonian clay, which is the nature's most perfect ingredients providing total skin balance. So basically it's just balancing off the skin because you know with there's dry skin, there's oily skin, there's combo skin, it helps balance out the skin. The other thing it has is mineral pigments. Um, they basically say colors dyes derived from natural miner minerals have been known to soothe and soften the skin. And then the other ingredient is um, vitamin E, which is a natural preservative that also acts as an anti-inflammatory emollient and protects the skin against environmental damage. And also vitamin E is also very nourishing, so keep that in mind too. And the last ingredient, of course, is water. They said pure water delivers and retains moisture. And all skin, regardless of skin type, needs moisture. That's what keeps it balanced. The one thing that I like about it is that it's formulated without mineral oil. There's no parabens. They also don't have any, and I can't say this word, uh, phylloxylates, <laughs> I'm saying it wrong, but it has none of those. It's also cruelty free, so they don't do any animal testing or use pro animal products in their product. And it's also formulated without sodium lauryl sulfate. So those are some great ingredients to have in a foundation, you guys, or ladies, excuse me. If there's guys watching, welcome guys. <laughs> but with this foundation, Let's talk about the pros, or let's just, yeah, let's just start there. What I like about the foundation itself um, is that 
uh, when you put it on, I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. It, it's like Amazonian clay mixed into, you know, all these ingredients, but that's what the color looks like. And when you blend it out, it goes on, it, the texture is very smooth, velvety texture, and it's very lightweight for a full coverage foundation. So that's freaking amazing, it's weird. And then the finish, you almost get like a natural skin-like finish. It's not overly dewy, it's not overly matte, it's just kind of, you know, perfect balance, honestly. So that's what it looks like. Of course, I'm very dewy, I have it on, but I added luminizer, so I'm very dewy, but other areas of my face, it's very, um, it's just balanced, and I didn't even set this with powder or even my um, my Fit Mac Fix Plus. I haven't done none of that at all either. So it's a very nice texture and comfortable texture. Um, this foundation um, comes in eight shades, and so the shade that I had on is called the Deep. It's the deepest one there, and the great thing about it, it protects against your UVA, which is your ultraviolet aging rays that goes through the skin and causes premature aging. It also protects against UVB, which are the burning rays, the surfing rays that causes the skin to burn on top. And at the same time, you get 12 hours of awesome coverage. That's the thing I'm loving about it. And that's why I've been wearing this more frequently than others. Um, reason why, because you guys know I work where I work. Um, I work in makeup and I get up early some days. I have to be at work at 8 a.m. And Honestly, I like to do my makeup one time and I don't want to touch up at all. I'm done. The only thing I want to touch up is my lips. That's it. And maybe blot with powder or um, the blotting papers. I can't think. And so when I tried this one on, I'm like, is it really 12 hour? Plus, in addition to that, it's supposed to be waterproof too. And so I, I tested it out one day at work and man, had it on from like 6.30 in the morning until the time I came at home and I still had a nice, smooth, flawless finish on my face. So I'm like, okay, this may be my summer foundation, <laughs> even though I change my foundation frequently. And so um, I got a chance to test it out, you know, outdoors with my family at the park and, you know, sweating. And I put the makeup on and yet there was a small transfer. So I'll talk about that in my cons, but it is still held up its own in the weather that I live in. I live in Central Texas, it's very hot, and so if it can hold up to the conditions there, I was very happy. Um, let me talk about the cons. The cons, first and foremost, is um, you know it claims that it's waterproof makeup on the packaging, and like I said, I mentioned I went to the park with my family. We were just out and about, just walking around and everything. We weren't doing very high, vigorous activity. But um, when I took a towel and pat my face, just like what I'll do now, um, and it's going to call me a liar, <laughs> you know, you get very, I have this white paper on purpose, but you get a little transfer, which is not bad compared to other foundations. So I don't know if it's quote unquote waterproof. And I even washed my hands and I'm just going to take a little bit of water and mist. So I misted the back of my hands and this has set for a while and I'm going to take this and you still get a slight transfer. So um, is it waterproof? I'm not 100% sold that it is, but you know, I'll test it out again in the water. The other con I have with the foundation is that it only comes in eight shades. I mean, I have on deep. That's the darkest shade that it's available in. So one thing I would say if Tarte Cosmetics watched this video is widen up your shade variety to deeper skin tones. Deeper skin tones love amazing foundation that helps take care of our skin and that also gives a smooth, flawless finish. Deepen up your skin tone. This is amazing. We, we, we buy makeup. We love makeup. And I think if you uh, broaden your... Uh, makeup hori horizons or selections, oh my gosh, you'll have more sales. The third thing is, it's good for Tarte but not good for me, is that when you run out of this foundation, since it's very popular, it's really hard to get it unless you order online. I know I went to several Sephora's and you look at their um, gondolas and they're empty, I mean, especially with certain shades. So I hope they can keep up with the demand of this foundation and don't get rid of it. I love it. But other than that, I mean, the price point is $38, which I think is very fair, being that this foundation has about 1.7 fluid ounces in this compared to other brands having uh, only one ounce of foundation. And the fact that it's travel friendly, yay. <laughs> so overall, you guys, I mean, 
minus the two two cons I had with the foundation I love it you guys if you are you know my skin tone or lighter I would go to Sephora ask for a sample or Ulta ask for a sample and try for yourself and see what you think and for those of you that use um, this foundation I would love to know your opinions on this foundation as well but um, until the next video, guys, I mean, that's all I have to say about this foundation. If you have any questions, by all means, leave your comments below. And again, if you'd like to see this makeup look, the information will be in the information box below. So until the next video, until the next video, I have an accent now. You guys stay well and healthy, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.